Hello, and welcome to my video about auto bidding on madbid.com. To use the auto bid feature, you click on auto bid on the grey bar at the bottom of your screen and click view auto bids. And from here, you can choose an auction you want to auto bid on. Uh, let's say you wanted to place an auto bid on the £200 Tesco voucher uh, auction currently running. Um, you select it in there and then you choose how many bids you want to place. So you might want to place 5, you want to place 500, or 1000, or whatever. It's up to you. Um, and you can choose to activate it as a certain value. If you leave it um, at 0, uh, 0.00, then it will just kick in immediately. Um, but you might want to set it so that it, you only start bidding on the auction once, which is £5. The idea being that some of the other bidders will already have used up um, a number of bids and will be closer to stopping bidding. Um, but I, 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 I just get stuck in straight away, so I leave that at 0. Now, bidding strategy, you will want to change this option from bid randomly to bid within the last 10 seconds. And that's because you want people to know that you're auto bidding. If you leave it on bid randomly, then it, then it will, your auto bid will kick in at just random intervals. So it might bid at 33 seconds, or 15, or 4, or whatever. Um, instead, it's bid within the last 10 seconds, and people will sort of notice the pattern. They'll notice that you're bidding in the last 10 seconds every time, and still so they'll know that you're auto bidding. And that's a good thing. Um, because the auto bid scares people, and I'll talk a little bit about, more about that later. And so if that's how you would set up an auto bid, then you would just click submit and it would go through and it would show up here in your active auto bids. And if you wanted to deactivate it, you would just come back to this screen and there would be an option here and you would just click remove and that would be it. Now you can see here also your stopped auto bids. So you can see here I placed a 622 bids on an Xbox um, that came to an end because it used it placed all 622 bids. Um, so this is just a record of previous auctions you've had auto bids on and why they stopped. Um, so once you set up your auto bid, um, you'd go back to the home page. Um, um, and then go to the auction you've set an auto bid on. You can then watch it, um, uh, what it's doing. Now, I was watching this auction just a minute ago, so I know that just passing through has got an auto bid on. Now, I just want to show you what it looks like um, when someone's auto bidding. Uh, so you can see he's placed the last bid, so someone else will probably bid before it reaches zero and ends. Yes, so A and Odd. Now, it looks like A and Odd might be auto bidding as well. Um, but what we're looking for is, is someone who's bidding in the last 10 seconds every single time. Um, not necessarily the same sort of point, like 8 seconds, but within the last 10 seconds. So if we just watch it. Yeah, so again, so it's unlikely that he's just sitting there pressing bid at different points within the 10 second window. He's, he, he's almost certainly set an auto bid. Um, but we don't know how big it is, and that's why the auto bid is so powerful. Because we don't know sitting here uh, whether he, he's set an auto bid of 5 bids or 100 bids or whatever. Um, so that's one of the reasons it is good to use the auto bid, and it's why all the big players use the auto bid, um, and, and I use it myself um, as well. Another good thing about the auto bid is um, you can set it, and then you can just go away from your computer and do whatever you like, so you can actually have a life and still bid on Mad Bid, which is a good thing, I think. Um, a third reason is uh, you don't have to sit here pressing bid all day. So as I say, it's unlikely these uh, players are just sitting, just passing through, just sitting there pressing bid and bid and bid. He's almost certainly just put on an auto bid, um, and it's going to do it all automatically. And, and the same thing could be said about Ahenol, who I think is auto bidding as well. Um, and the, the last reason to use your auto bid is that your bids are guaranteed to go through. So if I if I if you press bid and say there's a problem with your internet connection, then your bid might not get through. Um, but with an auto bid, the bids are kind of placed on Mad Bid's side of the server, so your bids are always going to get through. Um, and that's uh, really good, actually. So this is kind of your bids are guaranteed to get through, so you don't have to worry about them not getting through, uh, which can happen uh, sometimes. Um, so there's a reason you should use an auto bid, um, and 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 you should use it. It's a very powerful feature. Um, I've shown you how to use it. Uh, it's very simple to set up and use, and I've shown you the sort of right way to do it. The main thing you have to remember is to change the setting from bid randomly to bid within the last ten seconds. Um, and that's about all there is to say about about the auto bid. Um, and the only other thing I'd like to say is uh, for much more stuff on 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 how Mabdiv works. If you could um, look at my website um, at www.thepennyauctionsite.co.uk, uh, that would be good. Um, and apart from that, all I have to say is uh, thank you very much for listening, and I hope this video helps you.